Assassin's Creed has been back year after year since 2009, but Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag is a little bit different. Black Flag takes the ship combat of Assassin's Creed 3 and builds that into a true open world, and it's the most successful collection of mechanics the series has seen in years. But previous Assassin's Creed games were held together by story and fiction and character, and in Black Flag, these are weaker than they've ever been. Even as Assassin's Creed 4 finds solid footing in the way that it plays, it feels a little adrift. Black Flag stars Edward Kenway, a pirate in the Caribbean in the 18th century. Shipwrecked, Kenway is soon drawn into the conflict between the power-hungry Templars and their enemies, the Assassins. Sort of. Other Assassin's Creed games, especially the main numbered games, have revolved around the war between Assassin and Templar. The turning points, the meaningful moments. Assassin's Creed 4 is content to sit on the edges of that conflict. Edward isn't the series' traditional lead, and his absence of allegiance hangs throughout the game. The inclusion of Assassin's Creed fiction in Black Flag feels haphazard and cursory, and even assassination feels perfunctory. Assassin's Creed 4 is much more comfortable wandering the ocean in search of one big score. Ubisoft has cleaned up some of Assassin's Creed's basic mechanics. Combat still emphasizes a system of parries and counters and instant kills, and Edward still free runs like his ancestors and descendants did but a lot of the traversal problems that hung over the last game are gone. Edward's feet don't quite seem cut out for the crisscrossing beams and ropes of ships, and it was easy to get lost on deck, but Ubisoft has restored some of the extensive verticality and climbing challenges the series made its name on in towns and forests. There's not much narrative reason to free run around cities, but Black Flag incentivizes exploration with a move to an open world. Other activities are also folded in more gracefully. Hunting allows crafting, for example. Assassin's Creed 4 cities are still dotted with sync points, but Ubisoft has also made these spots fast travel beacons. This all makes Assassin's Creed 4 fundamentally easier to play, and it's a necessity in light of the game's scope. As a pirate captain, Edward can board his ship the Jackdaw and sail around the world, discovering new harbors and new islands and new secrets, and there are almost always bigger, badder opponents out there that effectively gate parts of Assassin's Creed 4. I had to progress more and upgrade the Jackdaw before I attempted more dangerous waters. Out on the ocean, Assassin's Creed 4 is unlike any game I've ever played. Even the basic act of sailing the Jackdaw was gratifying. I called out commands to my crew, adjusting sails and angle to head off storms or enemy fleets. I shouted for full sail to ram unsuspecting merchant ships. Angling to keep ahead of a frigate, setting up to broadside them with a full complement of cannon fire, this was fun every single time. But, continuing a sort of Assassin's Creed tradition, Assassin's Creed 4 shifts wildly between no problem to no margin for error. On land, failure or death was rare. My retries were motivated by a desire for stealth over bloody engagement. But in the water, a wrong move or off calculation often led to a scuttled jackdaw and an unhealthily clenched jaw. But these small annoyances were what reminded me that I was playing an Assassin's Creed game. Yes, there are still brief moments outside the Animus in the game's real world, but the moments that best define Black Flag exist separately from its nature as an Assassin's Creed game. The core of previous Assassin's games were tied into the ideas of the series, stalking targets, gathering intelligence, and acting as a part of the cause. Edward's actions for the Assassins are begrudging and opportunistic, and until the end of the game, feel like a distraction. Ironically, the place where Black Flag felt most like an Assassin's Creed game was in its multiplayer. It's largely unchanged from previous entries, aside from some new quirks to the co-op Wolfpack mode but at least it reminded me of when the series was about stealth-based assassination. Assassin's Creed 4 is this collection of often really wonderful parts, but the glue that's held them together over so many games feels thin. Black Flag, like its protagonist, is constantly waiting for its dare-to-be-great moment. 